All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you're ready. You're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion, so last review for 2024, Netflix series that started, I think, in 2022, originally the first season. This is called Vikings Valhalla. It's uh, the third and final season of the Viking History Channel spinoff. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any plot description for this season. However, I don't think it really matters. But here is the cast, which does matter. I like this season more than the second one. The writing was better this time around, but then again, as of the second season, I learned to lower my standards and expectations on on this spinoff, unfortunately. Uh, it's just been that type of series, unfortunately. So I go into these with the, just for entertainment, and also the for the season to just end out the whole franchise as a whole. The whole story bloodline thing so but a huge problem i had with the last season like a second season was the way freitas story was told and the direction they went with her but i liked her more t this time around however there were way more battle scenes than the first season uh but uh the, they didn't last long to be honest they could have been they were good they were good but i feel like they were kind of uh blue ball and yeah kind of a thing where it was it wasn't as long as it should be there was one scene with freitas that uh, was really good with writing um and it was definitely a good length but i think that was really about it and honestly the kills were were off screen again they kept doing that i appreciate good thought and love put into the progress of this of these series um especially when it comes to vikings because the vikings they actually went out of their way to show mo all of the kills or most of them and at least in the first couple four seasons and you know they spent the more money this the the even the cgi in this it just along with the products or uh that they had it just felt more cheap like a lower budget which makes sense it's netflix and it's a spinoff, but I just kind of feel like that should have had more thought and, and love into what they do. So the violence, the 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 costumes did get better over time um, over the past two seasons, but it, it's just like it was it was lacking love to it. Look, I honestly most likely will not never rewatch this specific series again. When it comes to the Vikings, yes. This was a very over underwhelming series as a whole. And this season in particular was better, like the first one. But it's still, even the first one was just kind of in the middle. Um, you know, if you lower your expectations going into this, then yeah, it's, it's, it's enjoyable at least. Um, but uh, here is my rating. Yeah, unfortunately, that is all I got to say about this. Um, I wasn't really going in this, expecting much from this. I did get a little more than what I was expecting um, compared to what I was going off the second season. But I think I wasn't really surprised that I personally didn't think the writing was the best, and it hasn't been. Uh, again, the second season for me personally was terrible. Uh, had a kind of a cool stuff to it, but it felt very rushed. This honestly didn't feel rushed, but I feel like they could have at least one more season because it kind of also a little bit felt like they were kind of crushing stuff together, you know, and then try to please the fans on the way out. Uh, like they did with the, again, with the short um, battle scenes, which were good, but they could have been longer than what they were and product wise and stuff so anyways this is my review my thoughts my opinion um leave your guys's down below um remember i love you all please stay safe spread the love most importantly skull